So in this video, we're going to be looking at nth roots. So here's kind of our, our form of nth roots. We have the nth root of B. Now, the symbols here, the, this one we've seen before, we used to call it a square root symbol. It's actually called a radical. And then the number underneath the radical is called a radicand. And we don't use this word very often. And then the new part for this video is this little number here. That's called the index of the radical. Okay, so now what does this mean? Well, it basically means what number to the nth power equals the number that's underneath the radical. So remember, we, we have square roots, right? So square root of B, uh, another way of writing it is the second root of B. So what does it mean? It means what number times itself gives you this number here. So like if it's a like a 49, that would be a, a square root of 49. Well, what number times itself equals 49? Well, that's that's a seven, okay? So uh, one that might be new to you is the, the index of three. This is the third root of B or the cube root of b so what does that mean that means three of what number being multiplied equals b or three factors of what equals b now the square root and the cube root those are the ones that have like special names so anything above that though like this would be a fourth root there we just call it fourth root it doesn't have a special name like square root and cube root and then like fifth root would look like that with a little five as the index there and uh, again like fifth root that basically means five of what number being multiplied equals whatever number is down here. So, and, and again, like with the square root, it, it has a hidden two up there. You can write the two there, but it's totally optional, but you do need to know that it is there. So here's the examples we'll be working on in this video here. We're just getting used to working with radicals again, you know, the square roots. So here are the four there. Go ahead and pause the video. Try these out. If you feel like you, you, you can uh, tackle them on your own, then come on back and see how you did. So here we go. We have the square root of 75 over 48. Now with any of these fraction type ones, you are going to want to start by looking, hey, can I reduce the fraction there or remove common factors? So yes, we can remove a factor of three or we can divide the 75 and the 48 by three. So 75 divided by three, that makes 25. And then remove a factor of three from the 48 and we get 16. So go ahead and rewrite that. Boom, that's going to be square root of 25 over 16. Uh, now, in this case here, we, you don't always rewrite it, but you do need to know that it can be rewritten and kind of split up into smaller chunks. With math, when we have big problems, it is easier if we break it up into smaller chunks. So in this case, we can do that. That's going to be the square root of 25 over the square root of 16. There we go. Now we can take each chunk separate. We'll do the numerator first, right? Square root of 25. Well, that means what number times itself equals 25. Um, that's going right down the diagonal of your multiplication table. And so that's going to be 5. 5 squared or 5 times 5 equals 25. Now for the denominator, square root of 16, right? What squared equals 16 or what number times itself is 16? Uh, that's going to be a 4. So our simplified version of this is 5 over 4. Here we have 6 root 11 or 6 times the square root of 11 plus 7 square root of 11 or 7 root 11. So, so here we go. So with these ones here, this is an add like terms type question. So if you have 6 square root, 6 square roots of 11 plus 7 square roots of 11, how many square roots of 11 does that make? Well, it makes... 13 square roots of 11 okay now compare that to like this one at the bottom here 4 root 5 plus 6 root 7 well these radicals these radicands they are different so you are not going to be doing an add like terms type idea you can only add them if the radicands radicands are the same so here 6 square roots of 11 plus 7 square roots of 11 makes 13 square roots of 11 you can't do that here and do notice this is addition if it's multiplication instead of addition here, then you're going to be doing some multiplication, the 6 and the 7, the 11 and 11. Okay, but this is addition, so think add like terms. Here we have the cube root of 125 over negative 27. So we do want to break this up into smaller chunks. This might be a lot for our brains to handle, so we are going to break it up. You can rewrite it as cube root of 125 over cube root of negative 27, 
some people just don't rewrite it. They just, in their brains, they're thinking this right here. But either way, we are going to be doing the cube root of 125. So that's going to be three of what number being multiplied times itself, right, equals 125. This one we may not have memorized. We may need to use a calculator for that. So here's what it's going to look like in a calculator. You can either use this button right here, the, the nth root button so and then you type in a three there and then a 125 underneath the radical so the index is three here the alternative way of doing it not all calculators i know some older ones they don't have that nth root button so you can use an exponent so that would be you know you type in 125 and then you use the exponent button there and then you can either do one over three or you can just hit the fraction button and then type a one and then an over and then a three Either way, you're still going to get the same answer. In the next video in this series, we'll go over why this works. But for now, just know that there's two different ways of doing a cube root. You can either use the, the nth root button or you can use the exponent. And then the three for the index goes in the denominator of your fractional exponent there. Either way, it's going to be a five. So now we have five. Now, now we do cube root of negative 27. So I know with square roots, we should know this by now, I can't do the square root of a negative. FYI, you can't do the fourth root or the sixth root of a negative. But you can do a cube root or a fifth root or an odd root, a seventh root of a negative number, right? So in this case, this is going to equal a negative three. We can type it into the calculator either way. So we get a negative three for there because negative times negative times negative three negatives being multiplied together will give us a negative number if we have an even number of negatives it'll always give us positive numbers okay so so you can do cube root of negatives or fifth root of negatives now for our final answer we normally don't leave negatives in the denominator so it's either going to move out front like here so that instead of five over negative three it's going to be negative five thirds it is okay to put negative five over three as well that negative can kind of migrate around a little bit but it doesn't belong in the denominator for the most part here we're doing the fourth root of 625. So this is asking what number to the fourth power equals 625. So if you got it memorized, obviously you can just uh, write in the answer or type it in depending on how you're doing your homework. If you are going to use a calculator, a couple of different ways of doing that. You can use the nth root button here. So that would be, so you click that button and then you put a four up above the, the check mark there for the radical or the square root symbol. And then you type in 625 there equals five. Or you can use an exponent button and then put the, the four, the index of four in the denominator there, one over four. Uh, two different ways of doing that. In this video, we won't go over why it works, but the next video in the series, we will. So either way, it ends up equaling a five. So just as a quick reminder there, that the new thing for this video is the index. It's a four here and it's a three here. When we have complicated questions, breaking up, breaking them up into smaller chunks. And remember this, this index, it's asking, that's going to be the exponent of your question mark, right? So four of what number being multiplied or four factors of what equals 625. This is three factors of what gives us 125 over negative 27.